Hello friends, my name is uh, Professor M. S. Rao. I served uh, in the Indian Air Force. Uh, I have been hitting gym for more than 40 years. Unfortunately, I was bedridden due to brain stroke during the second wave of coronavirus in the year 2021. I am doing a couple of uh, exercises to get back to normalcy with my willpower. My right hand was paralyzed and my right shoulder is numb. There is no sense to my uh, right hand. Doctors uh, 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 opined that uh, I'll be dead, but uh, fortunately, I uh, uh, I bet, uh, 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 I'm lucky to be alive. And uh, for more than a year, I'm doing uh, physiotherapy exercises to get back to normalcy. Sometimes I'm uh, stammering. Uh, sometimes I'm forgetting, so I have mental challenges, physical challenges, and financial challenges. My lifetime philosophy in life is uh, health first, education second, and wealth third. I have uh, published more than 50 books, including the award winning book titled See the Light in You, for which uh, the Nobel laureate, His Holiness Dalai Lama, has written a foreword. On an average, I am doing uh, two hours of physiotherapy uh, exercises. Two hours in a day, I am going for a walk, and five hours uh, in a day, I am uh, uh, sitting with the internet. I'm using blood thinner uh, to avoid uh, any kind of uh, health complications in the future. I had blood clotting, so so many challenges, but I'm not giving up. I was born in a toxic family and grew up into a toxic environment. My life is full of struggles and uh, sufferings. I was a college dropout. At the age of 18, I joined the Indian Air Force. And uh, after I acquired uh, 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 training, uh, I started my journey to uh, continue my uh, education through private education and uh, and sometimes through correspondence courses i acquired a couple of qualifications including dme bsc ma mba pgdcl pgdm and i earned my phd in soft skills in year 2011 so it's very really obvious that I'm a self-made man without uh, anybody's support. I still belong to a lower middle class family with uh, uh, financial challenges, mental challenges, and physical challenges. I'm grateful to Indian Air Force that 
I came out uh, of my toxic parents and toxic si siblings. I don't get regular uh, income and I don't get pension because I took uh, voluntary retirement. So uh, that is one more challenge because I don't have any regular income. It's a problem. My mission is to build 1 million students as global leaders by 2030. So far I have to train more than 50,000 students as global leaders. After the coronavirus, things have changed, things have gone online. So I started uh, sharing my knowledge uh, on various uh, social media platforms, including uh, uh, blogs, uh, LinkedIn. And I have two uh, uh, video channels, uh, uh, YouTube channels. Despite uh, uh, several challenges, I am not giving up. I am already 58. So, doctors uh, uh, thought that I would be uh, finished, but uh, I am grateful to God that uh, I am alive and I am getting, get, getting back to normalcy. I my, 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 have a problem with my right leg. My right uh, leg. Right side was paralyzed initially, and gradually I recovered. So I am using homeopathy uh, medicines. books and 50 have been published and 10 more books are under publication and uh, one of the books uh, titled uh, uh, Vision 2030 1 million global leaders uh, uh, for, for that book uh, Dr. Kiran B, the first woman IPS uh, officer from India has been a foreword and uh, uh, I have dedicated this book to Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam because I admire him very much. I have read thousands of books during my lifetime. I have read uh, the books on Swami Vivekananda and the autobiographies. And several books I have read on leadership, mindfulness. So I am passionate about uh, learning, growing and sharing my knowledge freely with the world. Despite having uh, mental challenges, despite having physical challenges, despite having uh, uh, financial challenges, I am not giving up because I want to add value to the world. Service is the hallmark of my uh, personality. So don't worry about the challenges. The challenges help you think out of the box. Challenges help you grow as a resilient leader and as a great leader. So be positive and be optimistic. Never ever go. Everything is possible in this world. Life is great. The future world is uh, high-tech, volatile and uh, complex, so be prepared for the challenges and uh, come out with flying colors. So don't take life for granted. Life is not a cakewalk and life is not a straight line. Life is full of ups and downs, so be prepared for challenges. Yeah. <sighs>
<laughs> Since my right hand uh, was paralyzed, so I am typing with my uh, uh, left hand. So still I am typing with my left hand. So I am not able to write. I want to write uh, uh, books, and especially I want to write a book. Uh, MMI, MMI, my MMI or my autobiography. I want to share with the world the challenges, struggles, and sufferings I have undergone, and how uh, how I was betrayed by my family members. So everything I will uh, uh, disclose in this memoir. Uh, the takeaway from this uh, video is that uh, you are gifted with a limited uh, time span on this uh, beautiful uh, planet. So identify the important challenges, address them, and add value to others. And uh, never ever give up. Thank you for uh, subscribing to my YouTube channel.